Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Can my doctor tell me if I need surgery on my perineal tendon just by looking at my ankle? Well, that's a great question, and that's what we're talking about today on the Doc on the Run podcast. Today's episode actually comes from one of the YouTube viewers who was watching a video called, Can I Run with a Split Perineal Tendon? And I was trying to explain the circumstances about when you can run with it and when it really is something you shouldn't try. And what he said in his comment was he, he wanted to know if his doctor could tell him whether or not he needed surgery just by looking at his ankle. And he said in his comment that the MRI tells me I have a split tear. So presumably has a tear in the perineal tendon, but I don't know which one. Don't know if it's the perineus brevis and I don't know if it's the perineus longus. But they run together around the side of the ankle, down the side of the foot. And he further says that he was in a cast for an Achilles tendon injury, but not sure if my other tears can be fixed. Now, what, there are a couple of interesting things about this that make for, um, I think, a useful episode here. And one is that it sounds like he was actually being treated for an Achilles tendon injury and that maybe through the process of assessing the status of that injury, sort of discovered that there was a perineal tendon injury. Now, I don't know if he was having pain in the perineal tendons before or not, but he said, you know, he got an MRI and his doctor was saying that maybe he needed to have surgery, but couldn't really tell if the doctor could tell just by looking at his ankle. I don't know. So I'm not sure on the real specifics of his actual circumstance, but there's something that I think you really have to understand if you have perineal tendon injuries, particularly if you don't really have pain there, and your doctor is recommending that you have surgery. And this is a research study that was published in the Clinics in Orthopedic Surgery back in uh, 2010. And in that study, the researchers actually found that when they looked at 82 cases of ankle pain with suspected perineal tendon tears around the ankle, what they found was 26 out of those 82 were actually true positives. This is where they definitely had a split and that split was showing up on the MRI. Now, they also had 38 tr true negatives, meaning that there was no split on the MRI, and they did not have a tear on the perineal tendon, even if they had pain. The other thing that's really important is there were 13 false positives, 13 out of 82. Now, that's quite a bit, right? So 13 of, the, in the, of these cases, the patients did not have a split in the perineal tendon, but the MRI showed there was a split in the perineal tendon. How could that be? Well, the way that the perineal tendons curve around the ankle, it can cause this aberration on MRIs where it actually looks like there's a split in the tendon when there actually isn't. That's really important. So you could have other things if you do have pain in that area that's not a split that needs to be treated surgically. And even if it was a split, not all of them need to be treated surgically. So it could be tenosynovitis where you have inflammation in the sheath around those two tendons, you could have a ten tendon dislocation where the tendons are kind of flipping back and forth or, or across the front of the fibula bone on the outside of the ankle. You could have a low-lying uh, muscle belly where uh, the perineus brevis muscle belly itself is actually extending down into the tendon sheath and crowding that tunnel. Or you could even have a little accessory muscle called a perineus quartus that actually protrudes all the way down, crowds that area, and causes a lot of sort of tension, stress, and annoyance of the tendons in the perineal tendon sheath. In any event, what I would do is look at it with ultrasound. So if I was thinking you needed surgery and I was doing a second opinion for you and your MRI said, maybe you have a split in the perineal tendons, but you weren't having pain around the perineal tendons, the first thing I would do is look at it with ultrasound and see if I could see a tendon split on ultrasound. And if I couldn't find one, I'd say you didn't need surgery. But again, don't know the specifics of this case, but a couple of things to think about. If you have a split perineal tendon or you're having perineal tendon pain and you're trying to get back to running. Now, if you like this episode, please like it, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next training. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.